Hello and welcome to my first ever Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to be showing you my version of the Dave Hill effect, the so-called Dave Hill effect. Uh, I was looking for ways to do this on YouTube and found that most tutorials were in languages that I did not understand, uh, like Spanish or Portuguese, so I thought let's do one in English and show you how I get this effect. I have a couple of examples here. Uh, on the left we have the before picture, on the right we have the after picture. And you see, it just almost looks painted on, it's very smooth and just kind of pops. I uh, have another example back here. Again, this is pictures of <laughs> Joel Kilcher, one of my favorite singers. And uh, it just gives a really nice effect. I think I'm going to be working with... this one today. Let's put it back up here. There we go. Okay, first thing you want to do is uh, duplicate this layer twice. I'm going to use the uh, keyboard shortcut, which is Control J. On a Mac, it will be Command J. So let's do that twice, like so. Go up to Filter. Oh, and by the way, we're always going to be working with the uh, top layer over here on the layers palette. So you don't have to worry about switching between layers. So that's very simple and easy. Okay, filter. Down to other, high paths. I'm going to choose four pixels and click OK. And we're going to change the blending option to vivid light. And take the opacity down to about 70%. There we go. Now we're going to merge those two top layers together using a shortcut Control E. And we're going to duplicate, pressing Control J. We're going to go back to Filter, down to Other, and High Pass again this time, setting it to 6 pixels. And this time, setting the blending option to Color. Again, taking the opacity down to about 40%. There we go. Again, merging, pressing Control E, and duplicating, pressing Control J. We're going to go up back to Filter. Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're using about 4 pixels here, press OK. Now we're going to add a layer mask to that top layer, just press the Add Layer Mask icon down here at the bottom, and fill that layer with 50% gray. I'm going to do that by pressing Shift and F5, and then the fill box pops up, and just choose 50% gray if you don't have that already, Normal Mode, 100% Opacity. There we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and I'm going to choose my brush. That's too big. Let's make it a little smaller. Better. Now have black as your foreground color and then we're just going to paint with a brush over our eyes. And what we're doing is just revealing when we're painting with black what was underneath before we added the Gaussian blur. We're unblurring, so to speak. And just do the eyes, the eyebrows, the mouth. Maybe a little nose if you want. I'm doing this rather quickly for the sake of this tutorial, but spend more time on it to get it perfect. We're going to do the hair. And if this were a picture in full figure and she had on a ring or a necklace, earrings, unblur those as well. But don't touch the skin because we want that smooth effect. Great. That's enough for now. Uh, we're going to merge again, pressing Control E. And then we're going to go back to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. And I have some settings here already. Ah, that's a little too much. Thinking around 120. Play around with it to get it to your liking. Let's just use that and set the blending option to luminosity. Bring some of the colors back. Okay, we're going to duplicate again, Control J. We're going to convert that top layer to a smart object. So right click on the top layer and just go up to smart object in the menu there. 
we're going to go back to filter down to noise and reduce noise <coughs> and you see what happens let's check off the preview Ah, it takes a little while to render. Again, these are the settings that I normally use over here. Again, play around with them to your liking to get your desired effect. I'm going to go with this and press OK. Again, we're going to go to Filter and to Blur and to Surface Blur. And you see how our skin is smoothed out when we did that? That's without that on. And here it is. Now, you don't want to go crazy with this because look what happens if you go up too high. That is not what we want. I normally use about 10, maybe a little less. Let's go with 10 for this one. And press OK. Um, and we're going to merge again. Control E. And we are almost ready. I'm just going to go into the hue and saturation. I'm using the shortcut Control U. Ah. Uh, you don't have to do this, I just play around here a little bit. Get a little lighter, there we go. And final step is we go up to Image, Adjustments and Brightness and Contrast. For some reason there's no shortcut for that that I know of. If you know <laughs> the shortcut, please let me know. Now you want to boost up the contrast quite a bit. At least 50 I think. But again, play around with it. Get it to your liking. Yeah, the brightness. Mm, I don't really mess with it that much. Maybe, maybe take it down a little actually. There we go. Yeah, let's just click OK. And basically we are done. Let's take a look at the before picture, which looked like this. And with the effect on, it looks like that. It's quite a bit, quite a bit of a difference, and I just think it looks almost painted on, almost airbrushed. I really like this effect. Okay, I hope this tutorial was useful. If you like it, leave me a comment. If you don't like it, don't leave me a comment. Um, and uh, maybe I'll be back with another tutorial. And uh, peace out for now. Bye.